Hello everyone, welcome to Plank Mills Sawmill. If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Today I've got something new cooking here at the sawmill. I made myself a little uh, waste wood slab rack. So just wanted to show you guys that. And also I've got some cool cedar trim that I've been sawing on the sawmill. So I wanted to show you that as well. So without further delay, let's go check this thing out. So. So here it is. As you can see, I've already got a little bit of uh, cutoffs and slab wood put in there. And I actually really like this design. I kind of just came up with it as I built it. Basically what I did is I, I took a sticker and that's probably a two by three and a half. About two and a half by, about three and a half. Um, it's just a sticker that we used to get with metal roofing products. So I've got, three of those then I took and screwed a 2x6 to that on each side and then I put another one on top of that between the 2x6s then I cut some smaller stickers on about a 22 and a half degree angle and screwed those to the outside of those there and I spaced these 2x6s 23 inches apart approximately and then just screwed those on there it's pretty sturdy and the reason I put those boards there is because I still wanted to be able to pick it up with the tractor forks and move it somewhere. And then I put these on here so that once this gets full, I can band whatever is in there. I can band it all together and then just pick it up with the tractor and haul it away somewhere. I'm really happy with this design. I just kind of slapped it together spur of the moment. And this one is kind of small. I'm going to be using it just primarily, I think, for my edging cutoffs like this you can see it's just really small stuff and I like to make smaller bundles of that so anyway there's a quick little tour of that I'm gonna go inside where it's a little bit less windy I think I'm gonna build another one of those for my bigger slab wood because currently I just have some skids out there where I throw that stuff on and it's just kind of a mess and I've been wanting to build bins like this for the slabs for a long time and so today I finally decided to get started on that. Secondly, I want to show you guys this trim, this beautiful cedar rustic trim that I've been making. So here I've got a bunch of it stacked up here. I've got some wider pieces. I've got uh, an eight inch and then some six inch and five and a half and then a whole bunch of four inch. So as you can see, this stuff is just really pretty really beautiful um, all this cedar is about a year old it's been logged for about a year a little over a year actually and so the bark is coming off some of it uh, pretty easy as you can see and it just looks super nice underneath and it's just really gorgeous stuff so I had this idea of turning this into rustic trim for say like a log cabin or something so it would, just it would just take some little bit of sanding, clean it up, and it's got flat edge on the back and two edges on the sides. And as you can see, it's just really beautiful stuff. So there's that. I had the idea of making this rustic trim out of the, my cedar cutoff slabs. I had been selling them as just just bundles of slab wood, just the way it was. And then, um, somewhere along the line, I had the idea of making trim out of it. So I would just take and make two edges on it and uh, set it off to the side. And so now I advertise this as rustic cedar trim. So. Hopefully I can get more for it this way and then just selling it for $50 a bundle, which is what I have been selling it for. And it sold pretty fast. So I'm hoping I can sell this for more. And obviously it, it takes a little bit more work to cut the edges on it, but sometimes it already has one edge. So I'm hoping to sell that. So anyways, there's a few little updates of stuff I got going on here at the sawmill shed. I hope you guys enjoyed this little update. And here's a little side note. Um, 
Let me know in the comments below if you guys would. Please let me know if there's any tips and tricks that, or any video ideas that you guys would have for me to make. Um, please let me know or a certain style of video. Also feel free to drop that in the comments below. So thanks a lot guys. I appreciate it. And thanks for watching. So that's it for today guys. I'm out.